What is generative design? Let's talk about it next. Okay, so generative design, uh, that's a, it's a pretty hot topic overall, uh, mainly focusing on the mechanical space, and that's where we're gonna talk today, although it has been applied to the electrical and electronic spaces as well. So, um, probably the earliest example of general design that is inclusive today is topology optimization. And it is a separate technology. Uh, let's, let's be clear about that. But the idea with topology optimization is that you define um, kind of the geometric constraints that you have on your design. Uh, and then also you specify, usually it's structural. Uh, actually, it's always structural, at least, and maybe some other constraints in terms of engineering performance. What happens then is the software will actually run simulations, structural simulations, and remove material that is not carrying the load through the part. So this gives you very um, organic shapes, uh, lighter shapes, this is a good technology for light weighting, for sure. Um, and it is actually a technology that's been around for quite some time. Altair uh, actually kind of uh, championed the development of this technology almost 30 years ago with the University of Michigan. So this is one type of technology that kind of falls into the generative design uh, capability category. The other one is, is much newer. Uh, and it only started to be developed about five years ago. There are a number of different software companies that partnered with some research institutes to try to figure out how to apply some biomimicry uh, technologies. And the idea here is that if you look at the way the body grows bone, for example, or how um, bacteria colonies will develop multiple paths to a food source, um, they try to figure out, well, how can we mimic that for a structural engineering component? Uh, and they actually have been successful with that. Autodesk notably has put a lot of research into this uh, type of capability, and it comes up with a wide variety of options. Things that uh, probably humans would never come up with. Uh, and, uh, and what's nice about that too is it generates a lot of different options so that engineers can um, perform trade studies. They can look at lots of different options. They can see how it performs on graphs uh, when you're looking at what are often conf conflicting constraints. So in general, you're gonna see two types of technologies in general design. One is topology optimization. The other is biomimicry type of uh, technologies. That's it. Take care. Talk soon. Thank you.